Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. If you haven't subscribed yet, press that red button to stay updated. So today, we are going to create an awesome lower third animation with logo. Let's have a look. Let's start. Start with new project. Create new composition. Also create a new solid on your timeline. Now, click here, and select this grid. Click on this pen tool. And create a new shape layer. Now create a line. This grid lines will help you to create a straight line. Let's adjust a little bit to have a perfect line. Now, unselect this grid option. Now, explore this layer. And add trim paths. Explore trim paths, and make this end to 0%. And create a keyframe. and go some frames forward and make it to 100%. Now, explore this transform. Click on this stopwatch, to create keyframe on this position. And bring it slightly downwards. Go few frames forward and move slightly upwards. Now, Select this keyframes, right click, and easy ease them. Now click on this graph editor, select this and simply move this yellow bar, to enhance our animation. Now let's design our lower third, by just inserting text, and our logo. Make sure to align our text properly. After aligning our text, let's grab some logo and drag into your project file and place on top of all layers. Scale it down to match up with this. Sweet. Now create shape layer under our text layer. Unselect this stroke. And select fill with white color. Now, place this below our text layer. Now create a new rectangle shape. Do this same for other text and our logo layer. Make sure to place this rectangle shape below each layer. Now, toggle to track mat, and select this alpha mat. Select this to all shape layer. Again toggle this. And select this. And hide this layer, so we can focus on our main layers. 
Now, click on this shape layer, and press U to reveal keyframes. Now explore the transform of this text layer, and click on this stopwatch to create keyframe, and simply move this text to hide it. And go few frames forward. And reveal this text on its original position. Just like that. Now do the same for other text layer. Make sure to keep the keyframes on both text layer on same position, so that they appear on same time. On our logo layer I'll just keep my keyframes a bit forward, so they will appear slightly after the text. Now select these keyframes. Go to its graph editor, and simply move this yellow bar, to enhance our animation. Do this to all layers. Make sure to enable this edit speed graph, to work on this graph editor. I'll slightly move this second text layer, to keep our animation more interesting. Sweet. That's look good to me. Now, click on all layers, and press U to reveal all keyframes. Now. I'll go forward somewhat on 4 seconds, and I'll create keyframes on all layers to hold this animation, and go some frames forward. And hide your logo as well as your text. Ok, here I'll select these shape keyframes and move them forward, where our text and logo disappears. I'll adjust these keyframes to make animation little bit slow. Let's adjust them again a little bit. Awesome! That's looking really amazing. Now click here to unhide all layers. Now select all layers. Right click and choose to pre-compose. Change its name if you want. The advantage of pre-compose is, you can change its text and logo easily whenever you want. Let's try to make changes on our text. This was too simple. So now, play around with this lower third, scale it down, and place it on any corner. The animation will remain constant. That's really amazing about pre-compose. Render this as transparent. If you want to use as lower third, check out this video it might be helpful to render with transparent background. So, if this tutorial helped you, press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe. See you in next tutorial. Stay tuned.